Hi, thanks for tuning in. I am Ambarish, a Mumbai-based Microsoft Certified Professional, and this video is on Microsoft Excel. In this video, I would like to demonstrate the use of the newly arrived XLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel. I'm sure you must have seen, heard, or even applied the very frequently used VLOOKUP function in your data. With the arrival of this XLOOKUP, well, let's just say that it's time for VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, INDEX, and maybe some of the other functions as well to hang up their boots after so many years of service. All right, so let's get started and let's see what do we have in store for us with respect to this X lookup. So I've been given a data here. It has 11 columns. It is data about some 15 trainers and uh, there is a unique trainer registration number assigned to each trainer. And you've got other information like their names, their area of training expertise, their base location as trainers, uh, we be supposed to travel travel a lot. So it is important to also know the base location of, of, of the trainer. So that's also an important piece of information. All right, now in the other sheet, so let me quickly move to the, to the other sheet, which is EX1, so control page down. Now, out of the 15 trainer registration numbers, I have only been given five numbers here. And I have been asked to fetch the information of their base locations in the next column. So I'm sure we can. Uh, I'm sure we all know we can use VLOOKUP here because we have that uh, that that common column which is the trainer number. However, let us see how do we apply the XLOOKUP here. So I start with the equivalent to symbol X L and then tab. So the X lookup comes up. Now lookup value is the first trainer number which is asked. Comma. The next is the lookup array. So I can simply just go to the, the earlier sheet and select the entire column of the uh, trainer registration number. Comma. And I want to display the base location. So I will simply select the G column because G column is, is the one that has the base locations and that's it i can hit enter and i've got the first answer i can just uh, i could have actually gone for control enter here and then double click to apply the formula throughout the column so in vlookup you are required to select the entire table and then after the comma you are also required to punch in the column index number which could be any one any number from 2 to 16384 uh, well, that is not to be done here. So I hope you've uh, understood the basic use of the basic benefit of XLOOKUP over VLOOKUP. All right, now VLOOKUP has a drawback. It doesn't let us search from right to left. So let's just take another example here. In the in the data sheet, there is this uh, there is this uh, area of expertise column which is on the left hand side of the trainer registration number, right? So uh, we would have to use the index function and in most cases you'll have to combine the index function with the match function to achieve this. Let us go to our sheet number EX2 and uh, get a display of the area of expertise. So again, X lookup, common column, uh, common is this, uh, the first uh, cell of the trainer number, comma, I will go back to the data sheet, select the entire E column, comma, and now I want the training expertise. So that's it, the A column, control enter, and I've got the answer. Uh, control enter is to ensure that I say, stay in the same cell and not go one cell down once the answer is obtained. All right, double click, and I've got the answer for the rest of the numbers as well. So it does the job of your index function as well. All right. now. What if I want to fetch multiple columns? Okay, so, so far you've seen two examples. I want to fetch multiple columns based on these trainer numbers. All right, so let's go to the sheet number three, which is EX3. Ah, okay, I can start with equal to X lookup. Select the first cell. Now in the data sheet, I will select the trainer registration number, comma. Now 
a return array okay so i can just select the entire available uh, data and that's it control enter right there you go you don't really have to worry about dragging the formula on the right hand side also you don't need to apply vlookup with match or index with match and that's it once i've got the answers i can simply uh, copy the formula down right so control d okay well i hope you've liked this video i hope you've liked this x lookup function thanks for watching have a great one